the the challenge of this week. So as I said, we didn't get quite as many as we'd hoped, but we are still confident that you will continue to send us your tips. And remember, you can send them to any of us. Um, you can send them to the news. Well, probably don't want to send them to the news section, but you can send them to any of us, um, and we will put them on air. So let's talk about uh, this week's challenge. And this week's challenge is brought to you by Germany, who won, <laughs> who scored seven to one. Wow! <laughs> by the country of Germany. Right. Not that is. It's so weird. They called me up uh, and told me to to give them that sponsorship. Okay. So let's just jump in because this is a fun challenge. And for those of you who've used Excel um, for a long, long time, and let's hope that's lots of you. And I'm going to just jump to our full screen mode here in a second. We'll know that there's Easter eggs in earlier versions of Excel. So, what do we mean by Easter egg? If you haven't heard of this uh, term used with Excel or any Microsoft Office product or any real uh, program, uh, it's a secret part of the program that is only accessible through secret means. So, in this case, this one in Excel um, is accessible through certain keystrokes. You have to type something in a cell, and I don't want to give it all away because you know, I want you to do some, some searching for this. But there is a flight simulator in one of the versions of Excel, and I want you to tell me which version, so, you know, um, what year Excel, this flight simulator, and you can see it appears over here, um, what year did this show up? So that is a real tough one. And now, there are other Easter eggs you might remember. I think there was, in Word, there was a pinball machine, and then another one, there was like a sort of Wolfenstein Doom-like uh, thing that you can walk through. So take a look at the Excel flight simulator. Tell me which uh, version of Excel that came in. Now, if you think you know the answer, and hopefully you've searched and feel confident in your answer, you can tweet it to me, at, uh, tweet it to us, I should say, at Excel TV, or you can send it to challenge at ExcelTVShow.com, and also be sure to check out our Facebook um, Excel TV series. So you can post it on any of those things. If you want to keep confidential, obviously send it to the email. But any of these will work, and we'll pick a winner at random. And, of course, remember, um, our prizes uh, are free model off registrations. So you know you want one of those because that is a great competition to go in. So that is my challenge of the week. All right. Talk. You know, I find it um, I, I, a flight simulator. I mean, did you Photoshop that in? I mean, that's awesome, man. You know, I remember um, those uh, blog posts. Gosh, I want to say it was a year or so ago by Chan Du, where he uh, he talked about Angry Birds in one of the in one of the versions of Excel, where you can unlock it and play Angry Birds. Yeah, um, that was a uh, that was an April Fool's, I think. <laughs> I oh. tried it. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well. Oh well. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Yeah, they actually they got rid of Easter eggs at a certain point. So, but I don't want to tell you because that might give away the answer. So. Okay. So uh, you got me on the April right here, right here on Excel TV. Uh, thank you for that.